Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flickin' Feathers again today and I'm tying another salmon fly, this is a band special shrimp Irish shrimp fly um, Well worth tying some of these up Good fly um, As always there will be a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon for anybody who'd be interested in supporting the channel uh, getting access to the members on the content and been eligible for the giveaways uh, along with links to social media and the Amazon affiliate link for anybody who'd like to support the channel in that way so I've got my hooking device it's a, it's a double size 10 and I've started some 8 aught yellow thread at the midway point I'm just going to catch in some small oval silver tinsel take it back to you. I'm a bit in line with the point of the hook and then make my tag four or five turns is plenty pull this up and I'll tie it off the length of the underbody uh, the length of this rear half of the body I should say sorry Where's my thread? I'm going to tie in the tail now, which is a golden pheasant breast feather. Strip away most of the fluff. Then I'm going to expose the tip. Now tie that in with a good side facing up. Tried to tap the length of the the length of the rear section of the body just to keep things relatively flat. Some away the waist. I lift this vertically and I'm just going to fold the fibres. As you wind, sweep everything back. Take your time. You might want to get a, a toothbrush or your dubbing needle or something um, to save your fingers because there's a good chance that you'll stab them with a hook if you try to sweep everything back by just by hand. Just wind this. You've only got two or three turns, but it forms a nice tail. I'm happy. Just come up. Cross my thread, two or three turns to hold it. And I'll trim this the length of the, that rear section. Don't worry if there's a few stray fibres still left. I'm just going to take your, dump, your toothbrush again, free everything up, get everything going back. And then I'll just wind my thread back over the stem a wee bit just to push the fibres back and sort of flare them against the tag. Gives you quite a nice oops, quite a nice mobile tail. And we're ready for what to tie in with rib. Just the same small oval. Silver. Catch it in on my side. Then we're ready for the body, which you've got choices. Um, you see these tied either with dubbing or floss. Um, I like dubbing on them rather than floss, um, but it's up to you. So I'm using just some yellow sulfur. Fluorescent yellow sulfur, just to add that a bit of, bit of kick. Um, but you can use just non fluorescent if you wish. I'm just going to build the, the rear bit of the body 
tighten as you go, that's enough. Just back that off a wee bit because I put that away and freed it. And then I'll just tighten that up. And I'll just sweep everything that could be going forward, I'll sweep it back. That gives me a, you got a nice wee kind of shaggy body there. The floss it's obviously smooth but a bit shinier, it's entirely an aesthetic choice. I'm just going to wind my rib. Two or three turns. Just a straight turn at the front. Catch that off underneath. And I'll, I try to keep it like a head length. Right, so like a mil and a half to two and a half mil, something like that. There's your area here. So the middle hackle, or the body hackle I suppose, it's just a hot orange hackle, it's just a Chinese cock neck. This is from, I'll tie that in, with the good side facing up, or facing towards me. It's quite a thin stem, so I'll just fold it. It's for strength. That's really strong. That stem was so strong it wouldn't break, pulled through. Just sort of that. Tie it in again, fold it back. I'll just trim it with my scissors. That'll go nowhere. Bit of wax in the thread. And then I'm just going to double this hackle as I go. You can double it before, but I don't bother. I think you might as well just do it as you wind. The amount of hackle you, you put on is up, is again, it's sort of your preference. Um, as is the hackle length. Some people like them with quite a short hackle. I like the hackle to come into the tail. Um, and I don't want too much. I don't, I don't like these flies being very heavily dressed. So I've come across my thread. I've got about three wraps of three tons of hackle, sorry. Trim that off. I've just left enough just that I can catch the stem and fold that back there. And I've just wind my thread back, just forcing the hackle to lean back a bit. Take my thread up to the front and switch colours. So change into a black for the head area. Once that's caught in, just come in, trim it away. Make sure everything's sitting how you like it. Then we can get our rib again. Same thing on my side. Tie it in and out. You need to make sure you leave enough room at the at the head. And at the front half of the body is a. Uh, Black silver. Green. You don't need a huge amount of this. Once you get it started, you can sort of tighten up. And again, make sure you give yourself plenty of room at the eye. You need a good couple of mil. Take the first wrap of ribs and then a 
full turn at the front. Again, two or three turns per body section is plenty. And I'm going forward with that, I just drop back and you're ready for the head hackle, which in this case is a badger. Catch this in, which is a good size facing me, fold back the tip again, two or three turns, snap it away. Same as before, we double the hackle. Just as I go. Again, how much is up to you? Oh, looks a bit nice to me. It's about three tons here. Yeah. Definitely, I mean, I don't want any more than that. That's plenty. Again, just take that tap, fold it back, and then snap it away. Hey there, right up here. So we hear there that I don't like. I don't. Never lost it. Last thing is the jungle cock. Um, you c Some people like to tie the jungle cock on narrow shrimps before. Um, before the front hackle, uh, making it more like in a wing. But I prefer a cheek, uh, but that's, I mean, that's just pure personal preference, you know. So, I've got these two jungle cock eyes. So I offer them in. So I offer them in so that the eyes about the length of the front half of the body kind of come just coming into the start of the that middle hackle take a wee wrap just to see how how i like it maybe make them a wee bit longer just go back if you don't like it go back Two or three turns down, fold these stems back, they're nice and fine. Keep this red nice and tight and just snap them away. Then you can come in and whip finish. Oops, there we go. One's plenty. Put away your thread. I'm coming with some super glue. Just very carefully touch the thread. You absolutely must not touch your hackle. Or the jungle cock. I've got a wee fibre there, I just I've seen the glue, so I'm just gonna stick it into the glue and that gives me a nice smooth head. When that dries, 
it's just a coat of varnish and the fly's done. So there you go, that's the band special shrimp. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up below. And uh, tight lines, guys. Bye.